Alrighty, so I have a quick update on the YOLO Box Pro. Apparently, it wouldn't connect when it was on wired Ethernet. Even though it would connect and say, hey, this email address has requested a login, send them a code, which it did, it wouldn't accept the password when I was connected into Ethernet. As soon as I unplugged this and connected to my Wi-Fi, it let me set a password and log in right away. And now you can see it's telling me, hey, YOLO Box Pro version 1.6.0, the biggest update yet, is available. Okay, install. And now we'll leave it to it. Once it's done, I'm, I'm really hoping that the Ethernet situation is fixed. And that this was just because it was on 1.3 something initially. Now it's about to go up to 1.6. Um, so hopefully this sorts it. And here we are almost done and done. Oh, or not. <laughs> that was downloading. Now it's doing the actual upgrade. And there we are on 99% and oh, come on. How? Oh, there we go. Is it rebooting now? I guess. There you are. Go and refocus. So <laughs> now it's going to 1.7. So we've added 60 FPS streaming, auto switching optimized, two new graphic overlays. Ah, there's your title and your social. Uh, background music for the countdown timer. Yes. Standard bug fixes. Okay. And now we do the whole process again. Oh, this one's a little bit quicker. Done before I've even finished talking. And we have a new upgrade screen. Ooh. Are we done? Are we done with the upgrades? Uh, click the plus. We're going to monitor mode for now. And there's our areas that you can see. We've got chroma keying. Now we can actually talk through these areas because I won't accidentally hit something. So this is the live stream control area. This is, shows your final output. You've got your video source area. And here's your settings area where you've got your overlays and all your stuff. And it's got chroma keying. So if I, well, if I do that, keying switch, it's not going to work. Keying type. So you get green or blue and that's it. Um, Oh, here we go. We got more stuff. We got web URL overlays. Add a web page of a live graphics platform and use it as an overlay for professional events. Suggest a live graphics platform to us. I wonder if, can I just load a website? We'll try adding DIYP and see what happens. Uh, oh, right. So it just basically loads the first image or that's as much as it shows. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's uh, the deal with the web overlay, but we can add titles. Is this an are these animated? No, it's just a, a regular thing. So you can select your logo, you can edit your logo, your name, your font and the stuff. Uh, what are the titles are there? Oh, we got one up in the corner. Yeah, you know, so she got like, well, whatever. <laughs> you can pop up an overlay in the corner. Uh, add, and we got the social overlays. So can we, ah, we can change this so we can go uh, Instagram. And no, want to edit. K-A-O-U-T-H-I-A. -A. Scale the whole thing down a bit. And we'll stick it there. So now I can, you know, you're having your live stream. You're talking to your people. And uh, why has it gotten so dark in here? Oh, it's because the screen brightness is down, isn't it? Can I put that up? Put that up a bit. So there we go. So I can be Chucky Butter can be talking to the stream and uh, be like, hey, yo, check out my Instagram and you can have it pop up. And I wonder if you can add. Um, it looks like you can only add one at a time. So you can't have like you can have that up and then you can have that up. So you can have separate ones and you can tap them both at once let me edit that and scale this down and whoop, not that much i wish there was a number entry for scale then if you scaled one down you could uh, add the other one because at the moment if i turn that on 
Can I edit that? Yeah, see, it doesn't show the first one if I tap on edit. So I'm not entirely sure where it's lined up on the screen um, or the size of it. Okay, so slight technical glitch there. The, uh, the battery died in my camera. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got them both up. And yeah, there's no way to sort of easily coordinate multiple ones simultaneously. The best you can do, like you can tap two and have them both come on and go off at the same time so that's nice but you can't have two for different networks on the same slide and you can't preview one while you're setting up the other so you're not entirely sure until you get back to here and do it if your scale's right if your position's right and if you want to you know like go and edit this one oops i want to go and edit ah this one you're you're kind of guessing on your size and your scale and you can you can try it and go back and yeah, it's still a little bit off and move it over a little bit more, you know, so, so trying to set up multiple networks right now appears to be, there we go. So they were, were close ish. Um, you know, and if I want to just get one of them up, I can just tap the one. If I want another one to come up, I can tap that or I can tap them both at the same time to bring them both up at once or get rid of them both at once. So that's pretty cool. And that's it. These ones were already there. Let's look at the countdown timer. So we'll go here. And there was a mention of music. Yeah, background music. That's background music. I don't know where it gets the background music from because I don't see an option to load one from the SD card, which is what I would expect. I have a go done. Yeah, there's no... I wonder if it's in another setting thing somewhere. Um, right, add video source. We go here. Can we load two of these now? There was my Xtool D1 review, and there's my drone footage, and we know it works. And no, it won't let me add. <clears throat> it says it can take two video sources, but it won't let me add a second video source. That's interesting. So it still won't let me do that. Um, in here, sharing. Well, I'm online, but I'm not streaming, so I can't share anything. Here's audio again. And oh, we'll we'll turn. How do we end the timer? <laughs> Overlays. There we go. Timer off. So there we go. Um, is the music in here? No, I'm not seeing an option in there for the music for the for the timer. If I turn it back on and go back to here. Yeah, there's no option for the music. So I'm not sure how you set that. This is your video sources. Oh, this is for your auto switch. So you can set your sources. That one and that one. Do we do it that way? Oh, no, that, there. HDMI one and two and that. And OK. Done. Um, And here, if we keep talking a little bit and wasting some time, you'll see that it'll automatically switch. I wish it showed a countdown. Um, but every 10 seconds now, as according to these, they should switch from one to the other. Oh, it would help if I turn it on. So there we go. We're on one. Um, and it says we are auto switching, but there's no like countdown timer. That would be cool. And then it goes, there we go to two. And in another six or seven seconds, it should switch over to three and you've got a loop so you can have it loop. You can have it. Oh, there we go. So there we're on the video. I'm going to disable that switching order so you can have it go sequential or random and I can set up one of them as the main video source. Program out, USB-C out. Please add up to three HDMI sources for the best experience when directly outputting to the computer. USB-A and SD card videos are not recommended. Okay, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Default. Oh, oh you can flip the USB out as well. That's handy. Uh, program output again. I'm assuming that'll be for the external monitor. We'll we'll try that. Uh, transitions are all the same. Are there any new ones? Nope. Uh, video output mode, same. Encoding settings are the same. Recording limits are the same. So everything else is pretty much seems to be the same. Let's see if I go back to the main screen. Click on the plus. Create a live stream. We'll call it test 
stream. Uh, I'm just going to go create. And where can I? YouTube link. Oh, welcome to Chrome, accept. Oh, I gotta sign into all this. Success, close. So. Ah, there we go. So if I go unlisted now, done. I go live. Are you ready to go live streaming? Yes, I am. Okay, so now if I load up the YouTube app and I if I go to me, your channel, it'll show it or it should show it to me because it's me, but maybe it won't. Ah, I cannot share this. Um or I can't capture this, but on the desktop I've taken a picture of this. Um and don't worry, I'm not just gonna show you my phone although i am going to show you my phone but i'm going to include the uh the actual photo itself but you can see there that the stream is actually live unlisted on youtube right now and it says live now yeah so that all works so right i will be back in another video this is kind of part two of the first impressions now um but that's it that's over and i'll be back next time with a uh, more complete review Future John here, it looks like I'm going to have to do a third impressions video because just as I was editing up this one, YOLO Live literally announced a new firmware for the YOLO Box Pro. So keep an eye out for that one coming in the next few days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.